So let's look at this question on physics dimensioning. The question says if f is equal to 1 over 2l root tk, where f is equal to frequency, t is equal to tension, and l equal to length, what is the dimension of k? All right. So how do we get this done? Um, first things first, solution to this. So solution. All right. So we're given that f, which is frequency, it's equal to 1 all over 2l into the square root of tk. So you have this. All right. So my first task would be, um, let's get the dimension of each of the parameters. We said f is equal to frequency. And for frequency, your dimension is equal to t to the power minus 1. All right. So t to the power minus 1 is the dimension for frequency. And that's because frequency f is equal to 1 over period. All right. So frequency is the inverse of period. And period is simply time. So that becomes 1 over t or t to the power minus 1. All right. So the, the dimension for frequency is t to the power minus 1. Next up, the next thing we have there is L, which is length, okay? For length L, um, small letter L, small letter L, the, the dimension for length is a capital L. By the way, we've discussed the concept of dimensioning, dimensional analysis in full, okay? So if you missed our class on dimensioning, I'll leave a link to our previous class on dim dimensions and dimensioning, even dimensional analysis in the video description right to so check the video description you see a link to our previous class on dimensioning okay all right then the next one you have there is t and they said t, t means tension now by the way tension the word tension simply represents force all right so tension is simply the force on a stretch string all right so the force on a string is called tension what that means is that tension has the same dimension as force and for force, the dimension is m l t to the power minus 2. So hence, the dimension for tension becomes m l t to the power minus 2. As I said, we've explained all of these concepts, why the dimensions are these in our previous class. I'll leave a link to that class in the video description. All right, so having got the dimension of this parameter, how do we find the dimension for k? Now, all you have to do is to make k to be subject of the formula first. That's the first thing you do, okay? Make k to be subject of the formula. And for this, would have that the frequency f, it's equal to... Now, what you do here is simple. Of course, if you have this, this simply means um, for this, one can multiply root tk. It's mathematically correct. That means tk goes to the numerator. That means root tk. So root tk goes to numerator all over what I have here, which is 2L as denominator. So it becomes 2L. This is the same thing as the given question, okay? All right, so at this point, what next? I'll have to cross multiply. This becomes all over 1. So I'm having this times this, um, root tk times 1. So it becomes root tk times 1. It's equal to this times this. That's f times 2L. Right, let's work on this. Root tk times 1 gives you root tk is equal to f times 2l becomes 2fl. So we have this. Okay. Um, let's get the value. Let's let's make k stand alone. I would have to square both sides. If I square both sides, I have root tk, this all squared, it's equal to 2fl all squared so we have this all right let's proceed with this from this what do i have um from here the square cancels the square root so i'm left with tk so you have that tk um tk it's equal to for this also um the square affects two so two squared that gives you four so i have four into the squared also affects f so f to part two or f squared and then we also have the squared also affects l so that becomes 4 f squared l squared so we have this or the next tax here to make k to be sort of subject of the formula to make k to be subject of the formula we'd have to divide this and also divide this by t 
divide this by t, divide this by t, this cancels this. So hence we have that k is equal to 4f squared l squared all over t. So we have this. All right, so this becomes the value for um, k. All right, so at this point now, we'll now substitute dimensions. Okay, so let's go to subs t tilt dimensions so if i substitute dimensions what do i have we we'll have that k it's equal to the first we have this 4f squared um the 4 is not necessary since you're looking for the dimension we can as well omit the 4 it's not necessary all right so just pick out the f first f is frequency and we said for frequency if you go back to what we said frequency your dimension was t to the power minus one and since f is being squared, that becomes f squared. That becomes t to the power minus 1. The dimension for frequency, all squared. So that becomes f squared. Next up, we have this, which is l squared. All right. L, we said for L here, the dimension for L is capital L there. Okay. So let's bring that value here. That becomes l squared. So it becomes L, this all squared and then finally we have okay so f squared l squared okay all over so this all over what we have next there is t right for t tension which is this your dimension here for t is ml to power ml t to power minus two okay so all over we're having ml t to power minus 2 so we have this all right let's expand this this is equal to if i use the first thing you have here is t to the power minus 1 all squared this 2 multiplies minus 1 that becomes t to the power minus 2 next up you have these two here multiplies 1 that's here that becomes l 1 times 2 becomes 2 so i have l squared all over what i have next becomes m l c to the power minus 2 all right so we have this so what's the next tax here this will now be equal to now my next tax here would be um separate these terms all right take out shift out the numerator from denominator and if i do that for my numerator i had c to the power minus 2 l squared this becomes this multiplying 1 all over m l t to the power minus 2 so observe the way i did this okay so i just shifted out the numerator which is this t to the power minus 2 then l squared from the denominator of course this is mathematically correct proceeding with this that's equal to this so if i proceed with this this is equal to this becomes t to the power minus 2 l squared times i can rewrite this in index form all right, we know that if, if you have a to the power, um, if you have 1 over a, right, as a fraction, in index form, this becomes a to the power minus 1. Okay, so to eliminate the 1 all over, we simply take, uh, we simply raise the term to power minus 1. So what does that mean? It means that we raise all of these terms here to power minus 1, and that becomes m, l, c to the power minus 2, all raised to the power minus one so we have this okay so what does this give us this is equal to this is equal to i have this as t to the power minus two l squared times let's start with m for m here i have this as one the pi here is one so one times minus one here gives you minus one so m becomes minus one for l here the pi here is one Again, this one will multiply minus 1. That becomes 1 times minus 1, which is minus 1. So it becomes L to the power minus 1. Finally, we have T. For T, the power here is minus 2. Minus 2 multiplies minus 1. Minus 2 times minus 1, I have plus 2, which is 2 here like this. All right. In the concept of dimensioning, what we use is called the MLT system of dimensioning. Now, what that means is that we have to take the mass first before the length and then time. All right. 
So let's take mass first. The first thing I have there for m for mass is m to the power minus 1. So that's equal to m to the power minus 1. That's all about the mass here. Let's take the length. For length, we have this as l squared and then l to the power minus 1. Okay. So let's take this as, so we take times l squared times l to the power minus 1. I'm done with the l's. Let's take the t's. For t, I have t to the power minus 2 and then t squared. So I have t to the power minus 2 and then t squared. So I have um, t to the power minus 2 and then t squared. Of course, all multiplying. All right, oh, this is also multiplying too. So this is now equal to, I'm having m to the power minus 1 times for l, we said when the same base, all right, when the same base are multiplying, simply add the parts. So it becomes this plus this for L, which becomes 2 plus minus 1 times, let's take T. For T, they add the parts, it becomes this plus this. So for T, I have minus 2 plus 2. All right, proceed with this. This is equal to, I'm having M to the power minus 1 times L into minus 2 of course minus plus it gives you minus so i have 2 minus 1 that gives you 1 times t into minus 2 plus 2 that gives you 0 that becomes t to the power 0 so we have this all right so if i work on this now what do i have this would now be equal to this would now be equal to okay so that's now equal to i have m to the power minus 1 Let's see the L value. This is L to power 1. L to power 1 is simply times L, then times for T, T to power 0. Of course, we said anything to power 0 is equal to what? 1. That's the zeroth law of indices. All right, so this is now equal to, I have M to power minus 1 times L, that's L times 1, that's this. So hence, it means that the dimension for K is simply M to power minus 1 l so i have this okay all right so what i have here becomes the dimension for k all right so that's how we get this all right so basically this is the answer to that question all right so this is the dimension of k all right then don't forget you can also visit my website okay you can visit my website www.jonaimanuel right jonaimanuel dot com all right go to my accounts register an account with the website and then you can proceed to either the books or the courses section to get any of the available books and courses all right you can also join my channel membership for exclusive video i'll leave a link to my website as well as to join my channel membership in the video description okay all right so as usual if you enjoyed this video please do well to like this video and leave a comment Tell us if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. And finally, do well to share this content to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.